Hi there, it's Ryan G. Wright with DoHardMoney.com and today we're talking about how to repair rotted roof trusses. So the first thing we gotta talk about is what the heck are roof trusses? And I wanna show you. So in typical houses, now we're in a commercial office building, but if you can see up here, um, these are actually, this is drop down ceiling, right? So all of this is all drop down ceiling, which basically means that they dropped it down, this is metal, and then they put these, I don't know, they're foam or, they're not really foam, I don't know. Um, they're basically paneling. Um, so here you can see, if you look down our hallway here, you're gonna actually, let me get a good angle here, you're actually gonna see roof trusses, okay? That's a roof truss, that's a roof truss, that's a roof truss. You have the drop down. Now normally in a residential, all of this would actually be sheetrock, um, it wouldn't be a drop down. They do this for convenience, so then you can run cabling and everything else. But this is what's called open or exposed. Now, you're typically not gonna see something like this in a residential setting. So when you have problems with roof trusses, it basically means above the sheetrock, you've got these things and those are actually rotting out. Now this is a little bit different because it's a commercial application where it's a flat roof. But if you're talking about a pitch roof, you're gonna have these exact same roof trusses that we're talking about. Right? You're gonna have those, and those are what's running out. I'll give you another example we've got here in our DHM Cafe. This is gonna give you a little bit of a view where you can see these roof trusses that are coming down, right? So those are roof trusses. So what happens is, if water gets into those, those can get rotten, and that can be a big deal. And the reason is, is the entire roof can come down if those roof trusses are actually rotted out. So. What you've gotta do if those are rotted is you, first off, you probably need to get a structural engineer to take a look at it. Um, a structural engineer is gonna come and say, hey, is there too much load in certain places? How much of the wood is actually gone? And they're gonna do some crazy mathematical calculations. Well, they used to do crazy mathematical calculations. Now the computer does it all for them. But they're gonna take some measurements, take some pictures, put it into their computer and come back and say, okay, here's what you need to do to fix that. And then they're gonna give a specific plan to the contractor of exactly exactly how those things need to get fixed. Now, roof truss problems typically don't happen a lot unless you have a fire, unless you have a major roofing problem that's been going on for a very long time. If something came off the roof and you got it fixed quickly, you're probably not gonna have any type of roof truss problems. This has been an ongoing persistent problem for a long time. One of the things I recommend, if there's a, a roof truss problem, stay away from it. If something can be fixed for under $5,000, take a look at it. But if it's more than $5,000, stay away from it. And the reason is, there's a lot of expenses that can go into this that you probably weren't even expecting. For example, once they pull the roof off, the sheeting off, and they start getting into this, it could be a lot more expensive than what you're thinking. Because even the engineer with their best guess is basically saying this is what it looks like. And there can be some things you don't see. So keep it under $5,000 is my personal recommendation when you're dealing with roof trusts. Probably not something you're going to run into very, very often. But if you do, step back, get an engineer. Now the downside of the engineers, you're going to have to pay for them whether you buy the deal or whether you don't buy the deal. An engineer are expensive so you want to take that into consideration as well as far as the cost in replacing something like this or these roof trusses it really just comes down to how bad and how severely if you're dealing with a fire damage it can be really excessive when you're dealing with roof trusses depending upon how much has been charred of the wood that's actually there that wood is supporting the entire structure of the roof and of the building so it can range anywhere from a few thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars or even more depending so it's really a hard thing to look at. Um, this is also something before you buy a property, if you're just getting started, you may want to get a home inspection done until you can get familiar with these things. What I do is just have my contractor go up into the attic and take a quick look and see if he sees anything of concern. If he does, then we're going to address it further. If he doesn't, we move forward with the transaction. I hope this helps. Uh, check us out at dohardmoney.com. Also, please like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up if you want to see these videos continuing and make it a very profitable day. Take care. <laughs>